Earlier, you saw four brilliant new Thunderbird stylings. And we told you then there's even more big news about the 56 Ford, and there is. Because tonight, Ford enters a new era of automotive safety. Now, this subject is so important to everyone who drives or rides in an automobile that we've invited a leading expert in this field to join us here. Mr. John O. Moore, Director of Automotive Crash Injury Research at Cornell University Medical College. Now, Mr. Moore, just what is the purpose of your research? Steve, we knew there were ways to prevent automobile accident injuries. What we are attempting to do now is to establish the cause of these injuries. With the help of state police groups and medical groups, we are using the highway as a laboratory to collect data on vehicular damage and specific information on the injuries of each occupant of these vehicles. These data have all been analyzed by a trained force at Cornell. And our findings have served as a guide for laboratory engineering, research by other universities, by the automobile manufacturers, including the Ford division of Ford Motor Company. Well, Mr. Moore, aren't most of the accidents caused by excessive speed? No. We found that 51% of these injuries occurred in accidents where the impact was at speeds under 40 miles an hour. And we also found that most of the injuries resulting from these accidents were caused by, first, contact with a steering post, contact with the instrument panel and the windshield area, and third, by the occupants being thrown through doors that spring open on impact. Well, it would seem then that this is a problem which automobile manufacturers could help solve. Exactly. In fact, it has been our hope that engineers would develop devices to prevent the doors from opening in crashes, devices to hold the passengers in their seats, and devices which will absorb impact against the interior surfaces of the passenger compartment, including the steering wheel. From the point of view of preventive medicine, this is a matter of vital importance. And that's why we think you, the audience tonight, will be vitally interested to hear what Ford has done. Now, Ford's answer to this problem is an entirely new concept in driver and passenger safety. Lifeguard design. Working in cooperation with universities, medical associations, and safety experts, Ford engineers spent more than two years developing lifeguard design. And here are the results. Because research indicated that passengers are more than twice as safe if they stay in the car in an accident, Ford engineers designed these new lifeguard double grip door latches to give extra protection from doors springing open under shock. Now, conventional door latches grip like this. They're often forced apart, of course, on impact. But Ford's new double grip door latches lock tight, like that. That's lifeguard feature number one. Here's another safety first by Ford. The new lifeguard steering wheel. Now notice the three spokes supporting this wheel. And how the rim is mounted high above the recessed steering post here. This deep center construction acts as a cushion in impact to prevent the driver from coming in contact with the steering post. Here too on the instrument panel and the sun visors, Ford engineers have made an important contribution by designing this new lifeguard padding, an optional feature on all Fords for 56. Now this special Ford padding is actually five times as effective in absorbing shock as foam rubber. And it's designed to cushion any impact against it. The 1956 Ford is also first in its field with optional seat belts. Now these belts are one-third stronger than airplane specifications and are solidly anchored to the steel flooring, reinforced by an extra thick steel plate. So you see, Ford has covered the three danger areas that Mr. Moore defined. Lifeguard design is the first major contribution by an automobile manufacturer to driver and passenger safety. And of course, it means new peace of mind for you, for your family, and anyone who rides with you. So see your Ford dealer and get all the facts on lifeguard design in the 56 Ford, America's fine car at half the fine car price. <laughs> Time 
in every man's life, but he must take his son aside and teach him the facts of life about automobile engines. Let's see what we can learn from this model father. Now, this, Jimmy, is a cutaway of an engine, a new Ford V8. Y8, Dad. Yeah, a new Ford Y8. Thunderbird Y8, Dad. You know, the engine that powers the Ford Thunderbird. Boy, is it terrific for quick getaways and all the power you need for passing and hill climbing. Yes. Well, now you'll find that this Thunderbird Y8 it's is the a... engine they've taken from the Ford Thunderbird and put in the Ford family cars. It's the standard eight for fair lanes and station wagons. And it doesn't cost anything extra. Right, Dad? <laughs> right. And you'll also notice a, a number of other interesting things about this engine, Jimmy. Like its deep block design? Uh, yes, exactly. Ford's new deep block design means that you, uh, well, uh, is capable of providing you with, uh, well, it means that... It means uh, that the block extends deep below the crankshaft, Dad. See? It makes a Y. That makes the engine stronger and gives it more rigidity. So the engine runs smoother and quieter. It'll last a lot longer, too. Well, that's true. But let me tell you something about Ford's electrical system. Well, sure, Dad. Go ahead. Now, all new Fords for 56 have, uh, 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 let's see now. Uh, how many volts was that? 12, Dad. It's a new 12-volt electrical system. That gives you faster starts, better all-around ignition, more power for the accessories, too. Well, of course. And there's a new thingamajig here, too. See? You mean the double twin-jet carburetor. Isn't that terrific, Dad? A four-barrel carburetor makes the engine breathe better for quick acceleration and sustained highway speeds. And that's not all. These are the new 18-millimeter spark plugs that go three times as long without fouling as ordinary plugs. And... Is there anything else you'd like me to tell you about the new Ford, Jimmy? <laughs> well, yes, Dad. Why isn't there one in our garage? In its 1956 models, Ford introduced a new concept in automotive safety, lifeguard design. Now, it's the first great contribution by an automobile manufacturer to driver and passenger safety. After all, accidents do happen. What are the results? Well, let's interview some people around the country who will tell you they are alive today because their 56 Fords protected them with lifeguard design. First, let's go to Middletown, Wisconsin, to the home of Eldon Miller. You were in an accident about three months ago, weren't you, Mr. Miller? That's right. It was on October 20th, about midnight. I was going down County Highway M, my 56 Ford Park Lane, doing about 55. It was a pretty tricky road, and as I came into a bad double S curve, my right front tire hit a hole in the shoulder, and I rolled over. I guess it must have been about four times. Were you hurt? No, I wasn't hurt at all. I was thrown pretty hard against the right front door. The right side of the car was really caved in. Here, you can see it in these pictures. The top of the door is pulled about a foot away from the body. Boy, I was lucky the door didn't open. I owe my life to the fact that that door had lifeguard door latches and it stayed shut. How important that is, the Ford Lifeguard Double Grip Door Latch is designed to give extra protection from the door springing open in an accident. That's how it prevented Mr. Miller from being thrown out of his car. Now let's meet another crash survivor, Seymour Carson in Houston, Texas. You were involved in an accident on the Gulf Freeway, weren't you, Mr. Carson? Yes, I was driving home one night last October my new 1956 Ford Fairlane following a business trip to Galveston. Since the car was brand new, I was going pretty slow. When for a reason I'll never know, I caught the rear end of another car in my headlights. I headed for the shoulder of the road. There was a parked car there. So I cut to the left at the last second. I guess I just didn't make it. Were you hurt in any way? My car was torn up pretty badly, but I didn't receive a scratch. In fact, everything in the car went forward except me. This is what kept me from going through the windshield, my Ford seat belt. To tell you the truth, I went drive to the corner drugstore without my Ford seat belt on. Now let's see how another lifeguard feature saved a life. 
This car belonged to James Vermeulen of Ripon, California. Mr. Vermeulen, would you tell us how this happened? Well, it was in the evening. I was driving along a country road in my new Ford. It began to get cool, so I reached over to wind up the window. I drifted to the shoulder of the road, my right wheels caught in the sand. This threw me head on into a concrete abutment at 50 miles an hour. How did you make out? Well, all 200 pounds of me crashed into Ford's lifeguard steering wheel and my head hit the padded visor. What about injuries, Mr. Vermeulen? Nothing serious, thank goodness. I was thoroughly x-rayed after the accident and there were no injuries to my chest or skull. Believe me, I owe my life to Ford's lifeguard steering wheel and lifeguard padding. This is the actual steering wheel that saved Mr. Vermeulen's life. This part of the rim right here cushioned the impact and kept his chest from hitting the steering post. The lifeguard steering wheel is a Ford exclusive, and you'll find it in every 1956 Ford. Now, you have seen just three examples of how Ford's lifeguard design have saved lives. Your family, in fact, anyone who rides in your car, deserves the protection of Ford's exclusive lifeguard design. Your Ford dealer will gladly show you all the features of lifeguard design in the 1956 Ford. We've all been hearing and reading a lot of bad news lately about the number of automobile accident injuries. Well, tonight I have some good news. News about how lifeguard design in the 56 Ford is preventing injuries and accidents. For an on-the-spot account, let's go to Houston, Texas, to the police car compound and meet the man responsible for the safety of this city of over one million people, the chief of police of Houston, Jack Hurd. One of the reasons for the success of our law enforcement efforts is our fleet of Fords, 42 or which 56 models. They not only provide the power and acceleration that we demand, but with Ford's new lifeguard safety features, Protect our men from death and injury as they've never been protected before. We have officers Connolly and Comstock with us to tell you of a personal experience. On December the 12th, we were trying to tag down two violators doing 65 miles an hour. The car in front of us turned sideways and I would have hit him broadside if I hadn't swerved at the last moment. This threw us off the road and into a ditch. We ended up like a turtle on our back. You can see the force of the impact by looking at the roof. Part of our job consists of taking chances, and this was a chance we had to take. Thanks to Ford's new double grip safety latches that we are alive today. All four doors remain closed on the car, keeping both my partner and I safely inside the car. Every civilian car, as well as every police car, should have the same kind of protection that Ford offers in its lifeguard design for 56. Ford's lifeguard door latches, which Chief Heard credits with saving the lives of officers Connolly and Comstock, are only part of the story of Ford's lifeguard design. Ford has done a lot more to make you, your family, and anyone who rides in your car safer in the event of an accident. Let's go now to Jefferson, Ohio, for dramatic proof of the effectiveness of another Ford safety first. This 1956 Ford Town sedan belongs to Dr. Constantin Jacobson, Distinguished European chest surgeon, now practicing in Ashtabula County, Ohio. On December the 11th, his car hit an icy curve, spun out of control, and rolled over five times. Well, doctor, how badly were you hurt? I wasn't hurt at all. I weighed 207 pounds. I hit the steering wheel with a great force, and as you can see, it even did not break. Examination of my chest revealed no injuries. Well, that's because Ford's lifeguard steering wheel is designed to distribute impact force. You see, the spokes yield and bend out of the way, thus preventing contact with the steering wheel hub. It's exclusive with Ford in its field. As a chest surgeon, I have treated victims of other automobile accidents where a conventional steering wheel did serious injury to chest. I cannot tell you enough how I am obliged to Ford for its lifeguard design. I am alive only because of it. From all over the country, we've been getting reports similar to the two you have just seen, proving how Ford's lifeguard design is saving people from injury in accidents. Ford's lifeguard design is a beginning, a hopeful beginning for 1956. 
Let's all resolve to make this our safest driving year ever.